Hey, hello and welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Herr Buda and I'm so, so, so happy that you clicked on this video. For all the people that are watching the first time and you don't know who I am, I am a hairdresser in Belgium and I have my own business for 26 years and I teach hairdressers uh, all over Europe, in Italy, Ireland, Spain, Denmark and I also did some makeovers on television. You can see the... Uh, videos on my channel but at some point I was tired of doing this traveling around the world I was saying I will teach everybody in the world on the YouTube channel how to do your hair or at home or teaching hairdressers because there are a lot of hairdressers that are watching my videos and I'm very happy that I can help everybody so let's go and see what they are doing wrong so you can learn from their mistakes but before we start can I please ask you to subscribe to my channel press that notification bell you can follow me on Instagram you can follow me on TikTok for today's video I am going to be doing my hair now this is going to be a different type of video it's going to be for the girls and I'm just going to have my little support worker just you know helping me I dyed my hair I think in the summer I ain't got shit bro. <laughs> I didn't know how to do it, I just went with it. And yeah, so this is just what it is basically. Hope that this doesn't go wrong because if this goes wrong then I am I'm going to go in with my bleach and this is the Jerome Russell blonde. I've gone in with this before previously and this basically is how it turned out. I mean it was it was more ginger but obviously I've been using um the brassy shampoo so a brassy shampoo can slightly change your brassy color but this is not brassy this is really a nice color for you because you are very dark your natural color is very dark and it's nearly impossible to do freehand balayage or ombre and go to white you will have to take them in foils and you will do it you will repeat repeatedly doing the same thing if you want to achieve white but then if you are that dark and you want to go to white you will kill your hair you will kill your hair so if you are very dark don't expect to go to white don't try to achieve that otherwise you will feel so sorry afterwards because all the moisture is outside your head and you are killing your hair the color that you have now is really a nice color because it's your type and the box dye yes it's box dye with bleach in it i know but still it's not that powerful than a bleach that you can buy in a big bottle uh, and don't buy quick blue please but if you want to do that buy some uh, blonde me that is my favorite bleach i've got two boxes of these i really want my hair to be yellow yellow so not just ginger and then we're going to go in with grey. Now, I'm scared. Can you pour some toner into my bleach pot? Of course I can, honey. How much? Just, just enough. Wait, don't no, tell me when to stop. A toner in your bleach pot is not going to do very much. Because you see the powder is already containing some blue pigments. If you bleach your hair and you will have 100 yellow pigments left in your hair and you put some toner in your bleach, maybe instead of 100 yellow pigments, you will have 95 yellow pigments left. It will do something, but not much. We tested many years ago, um, and this is very, very dangerous for me telling you that, but the people that are watching my videos are really smart and knowing that they are have to be very careful so i will explain this what i did and what i tried and worked very well but you have to be careful promise me you will be careful if you try that promise me i will not say it before you promise okay so if you have black black color but it's really black color in liquid not in a tube in a very liquid way and you will take some drops like five or six drops not more 
if you put 20 drops it's too much but in black there is blue pigment so if you take some drops in your uh, bleach then you will kill a little bit more of the yellow pigments it will neutralize more be careful don't pull the black dye in your bleach I can see it already in front of me I, I don't know why I explained this but if you are a hairdresser it can help you and for every client it's different for the one client it's like eight drops for another client it's like 10 drops for one it's like two drops but we tested it in the salon and it works very good you can put some drops of black color in your bleach and it helps to receive less yellow results so a toner in your bleach it's possible but it will not do much but it also has some blue pigment so it will do something but don't expect amazing results there are some foils okay do the lengths which type your tag I don't know she was going to do... Oh, I don't know if I should use my... That's really strong, you know, smell. She's going to do it an ombre. The last time I did my hair, I did like... Up and up in the middle. I'm not a professional. Guys, do I've not... I've done it once. Do not and feel I'm, the need to... You know, watch this video and go... And do it. Do, no. <laughs> I mean, it depends if it... We can. are not professionals. <laughs> I'm putting a disclaimer up here. We are not professionals, as you can see. Somebody's running very low. You start using aluminium foil and then you stop using aluminium foil. Why? Why doing the first one and then stop? Is it too hard? That's possible. But if you want to do an ombre, make sure that you don't have a straight line. Make sure you zigzag with your painting brush, with the side of your painting brush. Go up, down, up, like, like a W shape that you make then you will not have a straight line if you apply it with your hands and you stop here then you will have a straight line and if you put it in aluminium foil you will kill more yellow pigments than you don't put it in aluminium foil because the heat is killing more yellow pigments i have just gone and washed out the hair ignore my makeup it's like so like messed now at this point it's like coming off from every like place my forehead so we're gonna go in again and try and fix it so i'm just gonna go in again for a second coat wash it out dry it again and then go in with my dye yeah so this is how the back looks this is the next 24 hours after the previous um little clip i wanted to let my hair breathe and this is obviously the outcome it's a little greasy because my hair gets really greasy literally within a day you guys are probably thinking why is your hair not gray and i don't know why it's not gray the gray didn't show up but the gray cannot show up because it's too yellow if you want to achieve gray you have to go to white if you put gray on yellow it will do nothing it will neutralize a little bit the yellowness or the orange but it will not turn magically to gray but let me tell you the color that you have now is really good for you don't try to go to silver this is a good color for you and you have some bands but it's not that bad i have ordered the fanola shampoo and i've seen good reviews about this so i've just gone changed into another ugly top that's a ton of shampoo guys oh my god that is a lot of shampoo this is messy why didn't i just do this in the bathroom Okay guys, so let's just hope that this Look at her hands. comes out of my nails and my hands because if not, I'm dead. Be careful if you apply a shampoo on dry hair and use a shampoo as a toner. First of all, a shampoo is not a toner, but it contains direct pigments. If you apply it on dry hair, there will be some parts that are bleached more than other parts. So some parts are more porous than other parts. Some parts of your hair will absorb more these purple pigments 
it will not end well. But yeah, I'm about to show you guys and this is the final look. And yeah, I don't know what color it is because there's many different colors, but I feel like the main like color is gray purple. It's basically a purple tint throughout the entire hair. And if I'm being honest, I woke up and I was kind of mad because I left this on throughout the whole night. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I actually did it twice. So the first time I did it, I left on for four hours. It was really, really blonde. Everything else was still ginger, so I had to do it again. This is the look now. I don't know. Look at the color. Look at the color now, it's bad. It's ugly. And she left it on for four hours. There was white and orange, of course. And then she applied it the whole night. What are you thinking that a shampoo or a toner will see which parts are more orange and they will neutralize more and which parts that are not orange and they will neutralize not. It's not an artificial intelligence product. It's a shampoo. Don't think that the shampoo is seeing which part do I have to cover. But look at her face with this cold blonde. For me, it's not soothing her. The warm blonde was more nicely for her face. I think this is not the right color for her. Today I'm doing something that I'm probably gonna regret immensely. I am gonna be bleaching the tips of my hair. So I bought this like brass toning, like purple shampoo thing. So hopefully this will fix it. <laughs> if it looks all messed up. All the smell. Ammonia. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. To be honest, I'm really regretting this. I'm regretting this. I am so regretting this right now. Rinse it off! So if you are regretting it, rinse it off. It's just on your hair for 30 seconds. Rinse it off! But this will be so, so orange. Oh. Let's make sure this stays even. So that I don't look ratchet. As y'all can see, it's about done. It is a little bit orange, like I said, but I do have the purple shampoo, but it's really not that orange. This is so ugly. Why? 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 That's ugly. Have you enjoyed this video? Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is... Chaukes.